today. The work week is going to end really nice, but we do have some changes on the way, and I'll highlight those details in a moment. I do want to start things off from the rooftop cam of Paoli's Coronado and taking a look at downtown San Diego. We showed you this shot a couple of minutes ago, but why not look at it again? Uh, we have the Rady shell lit up there. We had a boat go by, but looks like uh, right now the bay is pretty clear of any boats passing by in front of the camera. Visibility right now is in pretty good shape for the most part. We are seeing it drop off a little bit for neighborhoods like Escondido, Poway, as well as Ramona and Fallbrook. So right along the 15, the 78, as well as the 79. If you're headed out for that morning jog, kudos to you. Maybe you're taking that workout outside as well. Temperatures are quite mild in the mid to upper 50, so not too shabby. And we'll stay in that range all the way through about 8 a.m. until temperatures warm up about 10 to 15 degrees later on this afternoon. We have a couple of assist, a couple of low pressure systems. This one right here uh, is now far, far east, uh, and that actually brought some cooling earlier this week. And the secondary system here, that's going to dive a little more southward, bringing some more rain to northern California, as well as more snow and rain to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, but it's also going to bring some changes for us here in southern California. So it's not going to affect or impact our Friday. In fact, it looks like this afternoon we'll see mostly clear skies, but we will have that onshore flow increase later on this evening, pushing in that marine layer, expanding to the inland valleys uh, overnight. And we have the potential of seeing some light drizzle as well tomorrow morning, some heavy mist. So you may wake up to maybe a wet driveway or some spots on the windshield. But by tomorrow afternoon, you're looking at mostly sunny conditions, especially closer to the inland valleys that you are. And then we'll have changes looking ahead to Saturday night. So I'm fast forwarding this and pausing it at 8 p.m. for your Saturday. And it looks like those green specks there indicate where we could have some light showers. So spanning all the way from the North County down to parts of La Jolla as well as the South Bay. I know that uh, there is the Chrome Ball tour happening tomorrow beginning at 12 in downtown Chula Vista. It looks like we'll stay mostly dry, but again, I'm not really not the chance for a spotty shower here or there. This is 4 a.m. on Sunday, so most of the shower activity that we see will be overnight while we're sleeping. And then by Sunday afternoon, Cinco de Mayo, it looks like we uh, dry out and we're looking at mostly sunny conditions. So if we do see any showers, it will mainly impact Saturday night into Sunday afternoon. Taking a look at the inland areas, we will see about a 10 degree drop in temperature. So from Friday to Sunday, uh, some of our microclimates will plummet anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees. Mountain highs will go from the 60s to the 40s by Sunday, but then we warm right back up for the start of the work week. So desert areas will go from the 90s to the 70s, dropping down to or increasing rather to the 80s on Monday and back into the 90s by Tuesday.